What is going on guys? Welcome back to CK2 Game of Thrones as King Rhaegar Targaryen. And in between episodes, I've spent time looking for a wife. And not only for Rhaegar, but I've also been looking for spouses for some of our other characters uh, that we have at court. But we'll get into that a little bit later. But first, let's check out the women I've chosen for Rhaegar. I've decided to go with your suggestion, or with, you know, all of your suggestions actually. I've first had a more in-depth look, uh, in-depth... In depth? In depth? Oh, I can't say that word, I hate that. But anyways, a deeper look <laughs> into the Valerians and the Celticars, but none of them actually had any children at close range or in close age range to Rhaegar. Um, so they were all like 6 years or 10 at the most, and I didn't want to wait that long. So I've decided to go with one from Valeria. Or, well, from Volantis, actually. Uh, the, the Sunny Magia. And, uh, yeah, she is 13 years old, so we only have to wait one year before we can marry. And, yeah, she's a Soci Valerian. She has the white hair. And, yeah, that's basically it. Her father was the Triarch, and he was murdered. So that's kind of interesting. He was the Triarch of Volantis. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Her mother was some unknown, uh, but pretty associate Valyrian, so there you go. Either way, she's now at court, so basically I don't have interfaith marriages turned on because the AI tends to go crazy with this, so the only way I could actually arrange this marriage was to move her to my court with console commands, and uh, now we can marry her. Now, it's interesting because she is Valyrian, and I think, at least in the base game, there's a chance or there's, a, there's an option to convert to your spouse's religion. And that would be really cool if we could do that as well. But yeah, we are... We can't marry, right? Um, yeah, that's not possible. We can't, we can't marry. So let's just uh, arrange a betrothal here between Rhaegar and the Sunny Megia. It's a difficult name. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. But anyways, so yeah, next year we're going to have that marriage. And... Yeah, as I said, there's also some other marriages that I've arranged. Now, let's first check out Sir Aaron Drift. Now, he's already married, but his children, uh, Elix, I've betrothed to Dala Martin. They're both 11 years old. Dala Martin is obviously the daughter of George Martin, the commander of Dragon Gate. And she's a genius, just like her father was. So, that's kind of cool. Then we have uh, Aaron's second son, Alan Drift. He's betrothed. He's Vesterosi of Lyrian, and he has this silver hair. He's betrothed to a Celtica, six years old. He himself is six, so, you know, the ages, you know, work out rather well. Uh, then we have Terence Lynx, if I can find him here. He is betrothed to Sylvia Sunglass. She's a little bit older than him, but that was kind of the best I could find. And I felt like, because he's a Kingslander, uh, it's fine if he's not married to Valyrian's or whatever, but, you know, just a Stormlander. By the way, the Stunglasses, even though they are vassals to the Targaryens, uh, to Dragonstone, they are, they're Andals. So, I just wanted to point that out there. But yeah, so, Sylvia Sunglass and Terence Lynx. And then, Vorian, obviously, has plenty of children. So, what I did was I married most of them outside. But I guess we'll have to check that out. Uh, Lenor? I'm not sure who... I'm not sure if I married Len or Dane. Let's actually... We have to wait for uh, other lords to uh, to say something about this. Mm, oh. Now, I think I betro I wanted to betroth Quentin. Uh, he's the heir of Dawn. I wanted to marry him to Meredith Dane. So, while Oberyn is nice, I think Meredith should not marry Oberyn. But instead uh quentin i think that was the betrothal i had so let's just go forward so for now the first betrothal we have is alaric dane 13 years old he is the second son of vorian and he's married to narel dane the firstborn of of lord aaron who is vorian's brother so it's cousins marrying uh which you know is maybe a little bit incestuous but that's Fine. So, yeah, at some point, Alaric Dane will be the uh, Lord of uh, of Starfall. Uh, of course, Mary. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be the lady, but he's gonna be gonna be the Lord. You know what I mean. Anyway, so let's move forward. 
And there we go. Okay, so yeah, the other betrothal or the marriage offer is gone because Doran accepted Meredith Dane marrying Quentin, which is really cool. They're of similar age, and that's just, you know, I don't, I find that kind of amazing. All right, moving on. There was one more. I was pretty certain that there was one more. Let me quickly check. Yeah, there was Garrus Dane uh, that I wanted to marry to Amani Yornwood, which, yeah, people have been asking why I pronounce it differently. You could say Ironwood. To me, it's not Ironwood. To me, it's something else, and so I just say Yornwood or Yornwood. I don't know. It's, it's hard to touch pronounce if you don't want to go with Ironwood. But yeah. Uh, apparently, oh, this girl has a great plague, and she died. Okay, so that's kind of unfortunate because I had her betrothed to Gera's Dane, uh, which is now not happening. Okay, well, I'm gonna find a new wife for him at some point, but uh, yeah, okay, I think that's fine for now. Let's move forward a little bit faster, and let's see where we're at. 160 gold. What's this? Everyone knows that I spent several years directing the work of my book. Oh, yes, very good. When today I am presented with the final product. Excellent. I commend my scribes while I gently leaf through the High Valyrian language, volume 4. That's so interesting. That is so interesting. Now, can we convert? I don't think we can unless... Maybe we have to marry first before that works, but yeah, okay. Perhaps I found my calling. The High Valyrian Language Volume 4 has been added to your treasury, and, and we are now uninspired, which I believe just means we can't write another book. Yeah, we, for, for the next, I don't know, 20 years? What is it? Yeah, 20, we, no, yeah, 20 years. We cannot r do anything else. That's perfectly fine. So let's quickly check out our book. It, uh, what was it? The High Valyrian, Quality of four, that's a that's a pretty high quality, especially in comparison to the other books that we have. That's the that's the highest quality artifact we actually have, which is cool. So yeah, let's check that out. Everything you had ever wondered about the High Valyrian spoken language, neatly composed into sections on history, myths, advanced exercises, as well as personal anecdotes from the life of King Rhaegar. That is so cool. That is so cool, and it actually fits very well, and you know what, uh, if we do not get the chance to convert to Valyrian religion um, through our wife, then I believe I'm just going to use console commands, because I've been thinking about doing this, like converting to Valyrian anyways, I feel like Rhaegar is the type of guy for that, and now in game, since he wrote that book, so he's even more, you know, thinking about prophecies and Valyrian religion and so on and so forth, he wants a dragon egg, it just fits so well, and I think that we're definitely going to convert. Um, hopefully, Summerhall will be, will be rebuilt during our lifetime. Uh, it would kind of suck if that if that wouldn't happen. Kind of hoping that this is going to go faster. Not sure if maybe someone else, someone other than Stannis, would be better in this position. But at the moment, it doesn't look like it. Um, but if that all works out like I have it planned, that would be amazing. But for now, our observatory is finally ready. It is with great anticipation that we prepare to make our first observations. Yes. Awesome. And perhaps... Oh, well, this is interesting. We have... Oh, we can get this claim on Sunstone. Yes, let's take it. And we will... Con Actually, can we move you to Bloodstone? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, so we have a claim on Sunstone. And we are already hostile to you because you've been raiding, so that's fine. Let's declare war and claim Sunstone. Now, for now, I'm going to keep it, but I'm pretty certain that I will make Ori's. If not Lord of Riverrun or something, I will probably make him Lord of Sunstone and Lord Paramount of the Stepstones. That's kind of the plan. Speaking of which, uh, I've realized that because... Oh, look at this, Rickard. He looks just like Eddard. Cool. Um... I've realized that because Edmure is a traitor, I could technically revoke a title from him. And I think the one I will revoke is not the Trident or, you know, any of those. I will revoke Riverrun, the castle. And I will give give it to uh, someone. I haven't fully decided who I will give it to yet, but that's kind of my 
plan. Do we have a friend? No, we don't. But do we have as we still have Jarman Buckwell as Lord Commander? Okay. Anyway, now that we have that claim, I think we should declare the war. Yep, you should still be my prison. You are, and yeah. So this is kind of annoying. I've I've not removed anyone from the council. Hmm. Right, and we do need a new mass of coin. Uh, we need to keep this moving forward. So I guess a lot of Hayford can for now oversee the construction. Uh, hmm. Kind of annoying, but what am I? You know, what am I supposed to do? Okay, we get actually five thousand men over here and quite a lot of ships. I think this might even be enough. Let me see. Barristan obviously join us. Vorian. Um, I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna leave you at home for now. I think 5,000 men are probably plenty. I don't think we need to raise all the rest. In fact, I'm gonna stand all of you down. We don't need that many men to invade, you know, the stepstones. That's really not necessary. Um, you can all stand down. I think the only ones I might keep are the ones here. Well, you don't have any fleets. Can we raise any more ships? We can raise a few ships here. 55. Let's... Let's maybe get the troops from Duskendale as well. Let's see who could lead this. Not Lord Stokeworth, please. Willem Derry. He's... Okay, Jesslyn Bywater. And then Aaron Drift, maybe. Yeah. And we'll pick you up as well. Okay, Stannis joining us. The Vale joining us. Alright, whatever. Uh, move on to Sunstone. This should really not be all that big of a deal. Oh, and... Okay, something interesting. Ralph Wentwater. Hanged by Stannis. Okay. So we now have Selmir Buckler. Cool. And... The Talis once again joined us here. But so did Sam Tyrell. So, you know, just wanted to point that out. Either way, we have already arrived. 5,000 men. This should go... This should be over very quickly. We'll siege this down, and I think that will be it. Peasant Revolt on Doran. Let's siege this. And... Oh. She is a pet rat. 11 years old. Hmm. Do we want her to be released? She is a pirate. Oh, this pirate was beheaded on the order of Mace Tyrell. Uh, should I release it? It's some girl. Do I care? You know what? I don't really care. Yeah, there's no one of value here with 100%. That's off of the piece. And end this. Wait. We have successfully seized the Lodge of Sunstone after defeating Pirate Lord Lissandro of Sunstone. Shall this territory be attached to the personal domains of King's Landing? Or shall Pirate Lord Lissandro be confirmed as rightful holder? To ensure stability. No! No, we'll take it for ourselves. Yes, thank you very much. And after seizing Lodge of Sunstone, you have captured the treasury, which is the Chronicles of Long Sister. Interesting. Okay, we'll check that out. And immediately, we could actually stand down everyone. Can we stand down these troops? Yes, we can. Perfect. Uh, what have we gotten? The Chronicles of Long Sister. The Chronicles of Long Sister discusses the history of Long Sister. It, its contents include the rape of the three sisters, describing how Northmen committed horrors upon Sistermen, leading to the war across the water. All right. Anyway, moving on. You can stand down. That was yeah, quite a quite a quite a war right totally worth having all the <laughs> all the lords you know go independent for that okay what quality of vacation would we have for dollar martin uh regular i don't really want to spend more and she has a martial education apparently sure we'll give it to her and until next time let's have everyone join again and appoint the old council I wish Doran would join as well. We currently need a Hand of the King. 
Stannis, Oversea Construction. Do we have minor titles? Uh, all of this needs to be done again as well. Well, okay, regardless, we... Um, yeah, we can marry they send Meg Megia now. Megia. There we go. Okay, so she's married. And now... Now... We... Cannot... Convert. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, we can still revoke River Run. Alright. Okay, let's wait for Dawn to join. There we go. And let's... Let's make you Hand of the King again, Doran. And oversee the realm. And we'll also make you designated regent. So you shouldn't be unhappy for being fired. Okay, he's not. Good. Okay, your heir, married to a Dane. Perfect. Alright, so yeah, that was relatively easy. I have yet to decide what to do with that. And there's another book we can buy. On Miasmas. Sure, let's buy all the books. And Dreb Trebor could not give that to his daughter. City of Lorulu. And there's a war against Doran. Okay. Well, good luck, but um, we, re we received a beautiful new book, so that must have a better quality. No, it's the only quality one. Wow. We have so many books. I think all of, like, this we captured, all of these we bought, and this we produced ourselves. That's pretty impressive. So, what is this? Um, On Yasmas is an account written by Harmon. It described that animals are more sensitive to polluted waters in a shy, even without drinking it, causing a shy to be without horses, elephants, mules, donkeys, horses, camels, and dogs. Uh, that's interesting. Um, let's quickly check on Rainies. I was wondering if she was maybe... If she was maybe uh, pregnant again, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. We still have commander positions that we need to give out. Uh, sure. Aegon, I'll have you com be a commander. That's fine. And the job well done. Indeed. Now, Viserys, have you married yet? No. Oh, but can we hold a marriage uh, feast? Apparently we can't. A wedding feast. We can only have a tournament. Which I, I think I don't want to have right now. What we might want to hold a feast. A regular feast. I mean, we just got married. So, I feel like we kind of have to have a feast there. It's a royal marriage. But, oh, Varus the Spider just died of poor health at the age of 42. Okay, so we need a new spy master here. Who will we pick? Gregor, one of our vassals, he wants to become a spy master. He's a lord. So Rossa, honestly, man, no, I don't know. He was one of our father's confidants. I'd rather go with Gregor here. It's probably better. Awesome. And, yeah, Storm is to be usurped. There's no, there's no reason to do that. Okay, we'll spend enough to satisfy everyone, invite everyone. And, of course, Lancel's not coming. Uh, I like, uh, I don't know who it was, but someone mentioned that uh, <laughs> Lancel should become court jester. That'd be obviously funny. But, yeah, you've spent many nights looking at the stars. It is truly fascinating. Hmm, yeah, how do they move? I don't know. Okay. And you will just get the essentials. Heather Spoon. I don't care about you. In fact, yeah, whatever. Uh, sure. Have you at the feast? And welcome. There's really not a whole lot of people coming. So, hmm. Is it really just these five? I almost can't imagine. Raynor Cressy. He claims that Lord Ellen Cressy sullied his honor. Uh, really? It's that father thing again? So, Lenor.
You have one, two, three, four children. You have five. Jeremy. Tom and Waters. Yeah, okay. And that's that's the thing. Pay recompense, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I don't know why this is happening. And there we go. If my opinion ruled, the world would be a more chaotic but fun place. If I keep following the laws, the world would have less chaos but also less fun. So we have the ch choice of becoming arbitrary or just. Now, even though we've lost kind, I, th I still think it's more likely that we would be just rather than arbitrary. So... I'm gonna try and go with justice. It's only a 45% chance and it didn't even happen, so that's totally fine. Okay, that was the feast. Stannis apparently enjoyed it, as did the High Septon. It's good to know. Uh, I would like Stannis to, you know, maybe work on Summer Hall a little bit more. That would be kind of amazing. Um, and also, let me quickly check one thing. Is this now part of King's Landing? No. This is still part of the Western Stepstones. Okay, which these two, these two islands are part of that High Lordship. Okay, fine. Well, anyways, I think we're in a great position now. Rainy's again pregnant. Yes, very good. <laughs> I kind of hope that will happen. Uh, so more children to come. Uh, we've got plenty of marriages. Maybe we'll even have a child, uh, a son, well, you know, it's not a son with another daughter of our own. That would be kind of nice. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what we do then but that will be it for today thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time